Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. It is a new day here. It's early, early morning. We've got a few things we got to do today and we're going to get an early start. I just got a full night's sleep. I'm going to go ahead and eat a meal real fast because every day should start with a good breakfast. We need to kill at least uh, 30... I'm going to say pounds. I don't know what it would be. We need to kill a rabbit or two. Uh, we've got to deliver roe meat or roe deer meat to an innkeeper. And while we're there, we'll talk to him about beer. And then we got to deliver some meat to Johanka. Hopefully our meat is not spoiled. Let's check real fast. I'm not sure how fast it actually spoils. Um, I believe it's on the horse, actually. Uh, we got dried meat there. So it's not spoiled yet. Um, it's 40% fresh, so it's we don't have very long. I think we had some rabbit meat, too. No, we do not have rabbit meat. How much do we have here? We've got 88. So we just need to kill one rabbit and then get this stuff delivered. I uh, don't know where the best place to find a rabbit would be. We might could find one out in the woods here, but maybe we need to wait one hour. Let it uh, let it get a little bit more daylight because it's still kind of dark and I don't think we'd be able to see. Um, this will complete two side quests and we can kind of kill two birds with one stone if we can go ahead and get this meat delivered uh, before it gets too late in the day. So, let's see if we can find a rabbit through here real fast. Um, I don't know if we'll see one here or not. This is not woods, really, but you never know. There are some woods up here. We might possibly see a rabbit up here. Just keep your eyes open. I know we did a lot of hunting last episode. We're not going to do a lot of hunting this episode. Just, uh, just trying to find one rabbit so we can complete these little side quests. Uh, we actually probably need two. In all honesty, but but one will do. Maybe. Uh, do we see any rabbits at all? I do not see any. So, let's look at the map real fast. We have to deliver meat to Johanka. Uh, one is down here, I think. So we do need to travel here. Um, I think we have to deliver 100 pounds to these people. So let's go ahead and go down here. We'll make our way down there. We'll hunt around these area, this woods down here. Actually, let's tr fast travel there because that'd be the best way to do it. Uh, we'll hunt in the woods there. And um, if our meat's not completely spoiled by the time we get there, we should be able to kill one or two rabbits and go ahead and deliver that 100 pounds of meat to him. And then we got to deliver 10 pounds, I think, to Johanka, and I'm not even sure where she's at. <clears throat> so that's the next main thing. I can't remember what they need it for. It's a side quest from a long time ago, but I would like to complete it. But we need to find this as fast as possible, or else our meat's going to go. It's going to spoil. If we have to, we could always go kill some more deer, but I'd rather not. The, uh, the game warden is already on our backs, so... Alright, so... Who is this lady? I remember talking to her a while back. She's uh, the old whore, right? So let's see. Somebody here needs meat. And we can go ahead and give them... I don't know if he needs 100 pounds or 10. Andrew. Do you have beer, Andrew? God save I, think, you. I think Andrew might be the person we need to talk to about both. Uh, can you send some ale to Townburg? Andrew, there's no more beer in Townburg. And the soldiers are starting to grumble. Can't you send some there? I could. There's nothing in it for me. What do you need? You're supposed to pay your tax in L, aren't you? Just as a matter of interest, who do you pay your taxes to? <laughs> You're saying I should be paying the Townberg to old Sir Divish? <laughs> when Sir Havel of Baldeck was the master here, I managed to wriggle out of it. <laughs> Nobody's come collecting since. Well, well, right now, there are three noblemen camped by Talmberg, one of whom might be very interested to learn about all the tax you owe. I imagine he might want to collect it in the form of beer. Hmm. Hmm. When you put it like that, I have got a few kids I could send over. I won't lose out too much. They'd always spoil if I kept them longer, and I'd have to throw them away. Just remember, if you poison them, they'll hang you for it. Those soldiers are drinking up long before it's time to go off. And what's more... But with all that cabbage being eaten, it wouldn't occur to anyone the shit's came courtesy of the beer. 
I'll have them loaded up right away and taken there. And give their lordships my regards. Tell them I'm sending my best beer as a gift. Why the devil shouldn't I get some good one out of this at least? Nice, so that's done. So we got we got the we can tell the quartermaster that now. Uh, what do you think about the raid on Talmberg? What do you think about Talmberg being attacked? What do I think? That as long as decent people can live in peace, <laughs> I can talk my way out of paying taxes. I don't care who my liege lord is. <laughs> well, this new lord never forgets a man who fails to pay him a single groschen, and the poor probably go straight to the gallows for it. That's terrible news, especially mm -hmm. for us poor folk. I hope you'll drive him out of here so fast he'll shit himself, or hang him from the tallest Talmberg tree. People usually shit themselves when that happens, too. All to the good. A nice bit of manure and everything blossoms. Very true. Um, I want to see if he can train me real fast. He can train I'd me like an axe. To fight better with an I don't axe. think we can do anything. Certainly. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe. Slightly advanced. I'm interested in more advanced. Wouldn't you rather learn the... Yeah, we don't know. We can't do anything. We haven't done anything with an axe yet, so... Well. Okay, so uh, who was that needed meat? I was thinking it was someone here that needed meat. Um, let's look at our, our quests real fast. Let's see. Activities, delicacies, uh, bring roe deer meat to the innkeeper. Yeah, that's that's right. Um, let us uh, let us go to him. Where's he at? A, 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 A. -A. Over here somewhere? No, that's that's not over here. That's somewhere else. Is this it? No. Okay, we got that. Quartermaster about the beer, right. Yeah, it's right here where we're at. I thought that the same guy... He is. It's the same dude. So why is it not... Is it not this guy? Let's talk trade. See if, uh... He's got, actually, a little bit of meat. Why is the option not coming up? Unless it's not him. Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and take off this and this and it should pop up now correct oh no no it's down there nope that's not it nope delicacies that's what we want to yeah that's what we want to do right there yeah this is him uh well how's trade any trouble around these parts around here it, those two idiots bother me the most. Don't you know them? No. I reckon you do. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, maybe we have to trade it to him. I don't know. I didn't think we did, but we'll try. Well, he won't take it. Maybe we have. Maybe if it's. It, is it on the horse? Yeah, the horse has it. Okay, well let's uh let's go ahead and take it from the horse. Now what happens? Do you have the dialogue now? No, you do not. Let's talk trade again. Sell. Road deer meat. We're gonna sell you ten. Accept. Uh check basket. Haggle, of course. Get a little more money out of him. Let's talk about the price. I know this is really kind of a slow mm. episode so far, but All right, so. this is something we needed to get done while we're here. Uh, where is? Let's go. Give me twenty-two. Are we agreed. I don't know. Shake on that. Almost. Okay. Well, we'll go up by point five then. See now, I knew. All right, did that complete that quest? It didn't. Hey, I know this guy. Well, how do how do we actually complete that quest then? 
Oh, here we go. I've got that meat for you. Why, why that wasn't there a minute ago? I don't know. All right. Well, I didn't give you ten of it, so might as well give you the rest, or ten more. Which means I'll have to kill two. Two freaking. Right. Nothing like the aroma of fresh game. Two freaking uh, rabbits or one deer. And as I promised, I'll teach you something. Oh, thank you. Nice. Awesome. I'll take that. Okay. Matthew's here. Let's talk to Matthew real fast. Hello, Matthew. Nope, we can't talk to him. Okay. Who's this guy right here? Oh, this is the weird looking fella, Fritz. How's it going? Good money, eh? Yeah, what? yeah, pretty good actually. What money? Oh. Uh, uh look. Yeah, go and talk to Matthew first. I tried. Well alright. I tried to talk to Matthew. He wouldn't he wouldn't say a word, but okay. Sure, why not? Matthew, how's it going? Here's your share. Oh, okay. Share of what? My share of what? What the hell are you on about? Well, that thing with Thomas, uh, somehow his ring ended up with us. Who's Thomas? Thomas? Who's he? That bastard of a foreman at the mill in Adechkov, where you got us the job. Are you out of your tiny mind? Huh. If anyone finds out you robbed him, we'll all be fucked. Take it easy. It wasn't theft exactly. We all know he stole that ring himself. So if it comes out, he'll be in the shit too. He'll keep his mouth shut. Where did you sell it? Where would you find someone willing to buy and not ask too many questions? It wasn't easy. But then Fritz thought of Andrew. Who's Andrew? Andrew. The innkeeper here. They say hmm. all sorts of things about him. And how did it go with him? Well, first he didn't seem too keen. But when he saw the ring, he bought it off us. Actually, I'm not surprised. After all, we'll spend all the money on booze here anyway. Yeah, so we'll get it all back, I guess. Well, good luck to you. I wish you good luck. I'll be off before you come up with some other madcap scheme. Now that you mention it... <sighs> out with it, then. What have you thought up now? I can't help myself. It's force of habit. We tried to be good at Sassal. Had fighting? So good that you punched a novice in the mouth. <clears throat> exactly. We broke our backs working in the mill. While you eyed up the miller's daughter? While you eyed up the miller's daughter. And they drove us out. The only worthwhile thing we did recently was give that wastrel a flashing, take his ring, and sell it to Andrew. I'm not sure I like where you're going with this. And where's that? No one in the country gives a damn about the law. And if we knock some thief over the head in the woods, or ambush some wagon with supplies for Sigismund's soldiers, I won't lose any sleep over it. Well, they deserve worse. Those swine deserve even worse. But that's what Sohanish is here for, isn't he? What can we do? Wake up, for Christ's sake! It's war! They skewered your parents, didn't they? They fucking burned down our fucking village, didn't they? Don't you give a damn about that? Of course I do. Of course I fucking do. And now, there's a herd of swine ransacking skeletons. Those fuckers are trampling over the ashes of Jeremiah, and Desmond, and Siegfried, and Tristan. We need to take them down. Let's chop those bastards to pieces, one after the other. I can't let it go, Hal. Even if I have to do it on my own, I'll put the fear of God into those bastards. <laughs> we'll strike fear into those effers. We'll strike fear into the fuckers. <sighs> I knew we could rely on you, Hal. I knew it. What are we going to do about the people looting scallops? The shares from the stolen ring. I want a bigger share for the ring. What are we going to do about the people looting scallops? So, what's the plan? Well, I thought Andrew, the innkeeper here, could help us, but he's nervous. Best ask Fritz. He sorted out selling the ring, and he knows Andrew better. All right, I'll do that. The shares from the stolen ring? I was wondering, did we all get equal shares? No, you got less, but still plenty. I mean, I'm okay with that. Very well. well Alright then. Um, I didn't really want to start a new quest already, but I guess we'll, uh... We'll talk to him about this later. Uh, I don't want to deal with it right now. Uh, okay, so let's go back to here and click off... And that is almost, almost not good anymore. 
We're going to go ahead and drop all this. We'll have to get more because I think by the time we find... Actually, let's sell it instead of dropping it. I think by the time we find uh, Yohanka, it's probably going to be bad and not worth anything anymore. So let's go ahead and talk to Andrew again and sell the rest of this meat. I'm not going to haggle with him. Let's talk trade. Um, sell... Roe deer meat. All of it. 68. Check basket. Close the deal. Yep, I'm willing to just give it all away. Andrew's a pretty nice guy, so we can actually talk to him for another quest as well, but we're not going to do that right now. Now, what we need to do is uh, get rid of this masquerade. We're not going to worry about that right now. And go back up to Siege. Help Master Fafar. The camp is out of beer. I need to do that. Can we done that already? Find the physician from the monastery to come to Townburg. Find a physician. Get the potions some other way. So we got to make more potions still as well. Uh, D. Where's D at? We could travel down here and talk to these people about beer. On our way over to here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's travel down there to, uh, that's Letacheco, I believe. And talk to that person about beer as well. We're just making, we're taking a trip all over, the, all over Bohemia now. I mean, all over the place. And we gotta stop and make a ton of freaking potions at some point. Which we might be able to do that down in Sasau. They do have an herb garden down there if I can find the ingredients that I need. Alright, so who, who here do I need to talk to about beer? I bet they don't have any. This fella. Good day to you. Good day, innkeeper. I need a few kegs of L for Townburg. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Townburg. I don't have anything that would last the journey there. And I certainly don't want to swing for poisoning anyone. Okay, well, guess he don't have any. Well, technically, we probably got enough. I mean, that one guy's going to send three kegs. Um, let's go ahead and go to find uh, what's-his-face. Uh, we got to talk to someone here. Uh, find a physician from the monastery to come to Townburg. Yep, let's go ahead and talk to them. We'll fast travel over there. <clears throat> it's almost midday now. While we're here, we'll see if we can find the ingredients needed to an obstacle. Uh, scout. We may can find somebody hiding in the bushes. I guarantee you there'll be somebody hiding in the bushes. And if we do, we might go ahead and pull the axe out if we still have it and see if we can kill him with the axe. Or we'll just stealth kill him either way. Uh, let's look around here. Do we see anyone... Hiding anywhere. A lot of times you'll see people kind of hiding in the bushes. I don't see anyone though. Oh, yep. I knew it. Just one? Okay. Oh, this guy might be a little bit harder of a fight. Oh, man. He actually got me there. Made me bleed my own blood a little. There you go. Oh, come on. I blocked. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. They don't block very good. Whoa. 
Man, they get that one hit in, and then it's all over after that. I'm about to pull my bow and arrow out and see if I can... Oh, shoot. No, no. Oh, gosh. That was not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, shoot. I'm bleeding. Oh, shoot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, man. Yep. He's just too tough for me. That sucks. I don't know where we're going to be. Probably still back there in, um, at that bar that's between Letacheco and Townburg. And if so, that's fine. We'll just fast travel all the way down. I thought we could take that guy on. Uh, if I could have found him and, and come up behind him and stealth killed him, that would have been great. But unfortunately, my, my swordsmanship is not very good still. Um, have I not talked to Matthew at all yet? Hey, Henry. Hey, Matthew. Okay, no, we're not going to worry about him. All right, let's go ahead and go all the way down here to Sassau, or to the monastery. Okay, or we could sell that meat first and then go down there. God be with you. God be with you as well. There is a pole in between us. About highway robbery. What is that? I wonder. Uh, yeah. Let's talk to him about that real fast. If I wanted to rob. Mm -hmm. God be with you. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Let me sell you this, this deer meat real fast. I'll just give you all of it again. And, uh, yep. You can have it. That's fine. Give me all you got. Okay, good. Alright, now. On to... Oh, a DLC quest. Very nice. On to uh, the monastery. And this time, we're not going to stop for any wagons broke down in the middle of the road. That was probably a bad idea. If I had scouted the area better, I might could have found them. I should have walked around it in like a big circle, because you can see them kind of hiding in the bushes pretty easily. But uh, I figured it was just going to be a bandit, so... A pilgrim who's... Clearly keen on talking to passers-by. Yes, I will actually talk to him because he might sell us something. So let's see what he has to say. Probably a map or something like that. Hello, ma'am. Please. A beggar. What happened to you? The farmer threw me out with my little girl. The bastard. He fathered it himself. And then got rid of us so his wife wouldn't scratch his eyes out. Okay. So I beg here at the roadside. Nothing else is left to me. Be merciful, good sir. A few groschen, sir. So I can go and buy some milk for the little one. Sure, I'll give you something. I'd give you something if I had it. Five groschen and elms. Why don't you join the Rote refugees? Uh, I'll, I'll give five groschen. Of here you are. Thank you, sir. May God bless you. God bless you as well. Well, that wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but okay. That's fine. I mean, we've done our good deed for the day, so on to the monastery here. It's uh, it's midday. we still got plenty of time. We're going to talk to this guy so we can get them to head up that way, and then we'll have to end the episode after that because I think we'll be out of time. I uh, didn't get a whole lot done in this one, and definitely not as exciting as I as previous episodes, but it did need to be done. Next episode, I think we will uh, probably, since we're here in Sasa, we'll probably go ahead and try to find the uh, the guy that the quartermaster wants, and um, see if we can get him to help build our siege weapon, uh, trebuchet. I believe is what we're trying to build. All right, so we need to find. Should be up here in the monastery, and we're actually a little hungry too. I probably should stop and eat at some point. Matter of fact, let me do that while I'm thinking about it. 
if I have anything dried. Uh, can I repair anything? I cannot. Uh, we don't have anything to eat, it doesn't look like. We've got beer, quite a bit of beer, actually. Um, nope, nothing to, nothing to eat other than beer and, and uh, potions. All right, in here. Yohanka, oh, I gotta get meat for her. Okay. You're not saying much. Uh, about the situation here. Tell me more about the situation here. I've got to give her meat. And I bet you she won't help me until I give her right. the meat that I need, I need to give her. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to go ahead and get the meat that I need to give her. And then when I find it, I'll be back. Uh, it shouldn't take... Actually, you know what? This is the person we need to talk to, not her. <laughs> Never mind. Brother Nicodemus. I need help. First, let's find out where Conrad Kaiser's staying. Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Kaiser? And what do you want from the old buzzard? Never mind. What do I care? It's the big house in the courtyard by the monastery. Okay, so we found out where he's at. I need help. I'll come to ask for help. Again? Such trying times we live in. God is testing us all. So what is it you need? Their lordships have laid siege to Talmberg, and the brigands have wounded Sir Divish and many other people. I'm to ask if the monastery might send someone to help. Sadly, I can't assist you. Mm. I have many needy folk right here requiring my constant care. I can't just leave them. Um... Persuade the Sawbones from the monastery to come to Telmberg. Uh What if I help you here first? And what if I helped you out here? You'd have more free time. And there's a wounded nobleman at Talmberg who needs a proper physician. Yes, then I'd be willing to go. But not until everything has been put to rights here first. That's fine, I can Very do well. that. Where should I start? Talk to your hunker. She knows what's needed. I need the meat. See you Obviously. I could do with a bite to eat. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, when we come back, I'm off camera in between episodes here. I'm going to go ahead and get the meat that we need. And uh, when we come back, we will we will pay her in that 100 pounds of meat. And um, and then hopefully he'll go with us. And then we've got to look around here to see if we can find the stuff to, to finish those potions as well. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, and telling your friends. It helps me out a ton. And I will see you guys later on. Have a great day. Bye-bye.